<laughs> Amen. Everybody was trying to learn that. But this is like by the spirit of God that you feel God praise come upon you. Amen. And David danced before the Lord. Amen. With all of his might and with all of his soul and with all of his strength. Amen. Amen. And the Bible says this. So let me give you give you a, just a little a, a nugget here. When you see your brothers and sisters rejoice, rejoice with them. Amen. The Bible said rejoice with them that rejoice. You would get your blessing. You would get that same touch that they feel. And somebody better say amen. It's from breast to breast. Can you say amen? Glory to God. The spirit of the Lord when he come into the house of the Lord. We need to give God all the praise and all the honor and the glory. Can you say amen? Hallelujah. I don't care if you have to leap for joy. Still give God the praise. Amen. You are still alive. Can you say amen? God has been keeping all of us. Amen. So I'm going to go into the word of God. Amen. Amen. I just wanted to do a little bit, amen, of some things that we're going to be. Ellen, did you have that, uh, that uh, phone number, anything for the conference? Amen. Because I want you to let everybody know we're going to give them that. Amen. Because I left a pad at home that we're going to be having Bible study and what you call a conference by, well, I call it this. Dial up Bible study. Come on, somebody. Because <laughs> you dial in that number, put it in the code and the pound sign, and we all going to have Bible study on Wednesday. Amen. And I'm going to be letting you all know what we are going to study. I want to begin in the book of Ephesians. It's such a great and dynamic chapter. Amen. So we're going to be going into that book, and I'm going to let Ellen give you, amen, the information a little bit later on. Amen. So I want you to get your Bibles and turn with me now. I just want us to be able to understand this season that we are in right now. This is a good season. It's a joyous season. Amen. It's a happy season for all of us. Amen. Amen. Because we choose to celebrate Amen. The birth of Jesus Christ this particular month. Amen. 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 They celebrated on the 25th. Amen. And I don't mind getting with that because we know that Jesus was born. Can you say amen? amen. We may not have the Pacific date or the Pacific hour or the Pacific time, but we take a time out of every year to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ. And we need to understand what that means. Amen. Amen. And celebrating his birth. I want you to get your Bibles and I want you to turn with me now. Go with me to the book of Joshua. Amen. Joshua the third chapter in the seventh verse. Why are you getting that? Father God, I thank you for your goodness and your mercy. I thank you for your everlasting power. God, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for how you are moving by your spirit. And Lord, it's all about you. It's not about us. Lord, continue to bless, Lord God, your people. The word that I'm getting ready to give, Lord God, let them receive it on good grounds, Lord God, that it will bring forth a hundredfold. And we will forever praise you and bless your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Joshua 3 and 7. And I got a title today that I want you all to understand. This title that God has given me is said, Magnify the Lord with me. Can y'all say, y'all repeat that after me. Magnify the Lord with me. So before we go into that particular chapter, amen, Joshua 3 and 7, magnify me to increase. The apparent size of a particular object. Y'all, we need to increase the name of Jesus Christ like never before. Amen. We need to praise him. We need to lift him up above everything else on the face of this earth. Amen. Somebody better say amen. amen. To increase the apparent size of an object. It is that to make means to make, to create, to cause, to appear greater. We know that we serve a great and a mighty and a dynamic God. Can you say amen? amen. It's more important for us to magnify the Lord with me. 
me. David said that in one particular scripture. He said, magnify the Lord with me. Somebody better say amen. Your enemies will laugh at you when you begin to magnify the Lord above every situation that you may be going through. Can you give the Lord a hand? Praise on that. Come on, y'all. Magnify, glorify, or praise to increase or have the power to increase in the size of volume of an image. We know that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary for us. Amen. So magnify is to make greater, to exaggerate, to increase, to intensify, to intensify with our praise. Come on, y'all. This little bit of praise that we do all the time, we need to get excited about God. Amen. And give him all the glory and the honor and the praise. Let's read now in Joshua 3 and 7. Amen. Read, y'all. Now, what did the Lord say unto Joshua? This day. Come on. That they may. Yes. Yes. Listen at that. He told Joshua, he said, Joshua, don't you know if you magnify God and lift him up higher than your situation, when you exalt God greater than who you are, because we are humble, don't you know that God will exalt you? The Bible said, he that humbled himself shall be what? Exalted. God will raise you up. Joshua, be encouraged. I'm going to magnify you. You know why? Because you're going to magnify me. Somebody better say amen. Even as I was with Moses, Joshua, I'm going to be with you. I don't know about any of you. I want the Lord to be with me every step of the way. Can you say amen? amen. amen. Joshua. Three and seven, magnify the Lord. God told Joshua, he said, listen, Joshua, I'm going to magnify you all in front of Israel so they may know that you are the one. You are a chosen vessel. Somebody better say amen. We need to learn how to magnify God. Somebody give me Psalms 34 and 3 and give me Psalms 38 and 16. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I want us to get this thing down packed to know that how we're going to lift up and magnify the Lord in every situation that we are going through. Instead of us pounding down, down and doing with doubt and say, oh my God, I can't. We need to say, I can do all things through Christ that strengthen me. Somebody better say amen. You can't do it by yourself. He has to strengthen you in order for you to be able to be a conqueror. Somebody better say amen. amen. Oh, magnify the Lord with me, POGP members, amen. and let us exalt his name together. Can you say amen? amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Psalms 34 and 3. Read that, somebody. Uh huh. Read it again, Brother Blackwell. Oh, magnify. Oh, magnify. Yes. And let us exalt his name together. I'm inclined and encouraging each and every one of us. I want you to increase, make greater, to exaggerate, to intensify, which means to hype his up. Hide him up. Somebody better say amen. amen. To make greater, to enlarge God above any situation that you may be encountering right now. Somebody better say amen. amen. Oh, 
radio, he was saying that he said, you know what? God is a divine intervention. Somebody better say amen. God can intervene in your situation. Divine. Somebody better say yes. Hallelujah. I don't care what your situation look like. God can intervene in your situation. Somebody better say amen. Listen to this. This man said, he said, the doctor told him he was at a stage for cancer. And he told his wife, ma'am, y'all might as well go ahead, get everything in order. Get all of your affairs in order because he's going to die. And he did. He went home and began to magnify. He began to magnify the Lord for who he is. God, you are above my stage for cancer. God, you can do anything but fail. I magnify your name today. I lift you up, God. I glorify who you are. That's what he did. Got all his affairs. He said, wife, Go ahead and do what you need to do, but I'm going to magnify the Lord. In my spirit, I'm going to magnify God. In my mind, I'm going to magnify God. In my soul, my soul shall magnify God. Somebody better say amen. amen. So they got all that begin to do that. Next thing you know, he lived on, lived on. He said, wait a minute. He said, the doctor said I was going to die. He said, well, let me go back and get another checkup. Went back to the doctor, and he got a checkup. The doctor said, wait a minute. And this is the same man that came to me six months ago, and I told you you was going to die. Let me tell you, it's not over until God says
The doctor told her she doing good. No heart condition, no nothing. All she did was magnify the Lord. Lift up God in his scriptures. Read every healing scripture. There is somebody better say amen. When Jesus said in his word, he said, I was wounded for your transgression. The baptizement of peace was upon my shoulder. Somebody better say yes. He was wounded for you to be healed. the Lord with me. Make him greater. Make him greater than what we feel. Sometimes we may not be feeling good. Oh God, I magnify my soul. Magnify the Lord. Somebody better say amen. You got to exaggerate God. Not exaggerate nobody else, but exaggerate God for who he is. Can you say amen? Can you say amen? People, God is able to do above that which is exceedingly, abundantly, or to every last one of us. We got to learn how to trust God for who he is. To exaggerate means to consider, to represent, or cause to appear as bigger and bigger and larger. something for God. You're going to be tempted. You're going to be tried. Oh my God. The devil comes in sheep clothing. Somebody better say amen. Oh let me back it up and tell you like this. The devil come driving a fat whip. Somebody better say amen. Got a gold chain on. Somebody better say amen. Oh they got frost in that mouth gold. A neat haircut. You think that is the one. That's my that's the one God sent me. You better try the spirit and see whether it be a God or not. Amen. Somebody better say ouch. Oh Lord. Y'all better. Oh man. And I felt that one. And somebody better say amen. We do. We're looking for something. And we always and we anticipate. And we step out in it. When you see a nice ride, this guy may have talk with great, nice words and telling you, you the finest thing he ever seen in the whole wide world. But yet he was with Sally. Oh, let y'all better say something up in here. Oh, my God. He would swell your head up. That's how the devil works. He'll get you all out of whack. Just to do what he wants to do. Amen? Yes. Uh, let's read 38 and 16. Somebody read that for me. God said, Hear me. Yes. Otherwise, they shall rejoice over me. Listen at that. When my foot slipping, Come on. Magnify themselves against me. Listen. I want y'all to get this. The devil is after you, me, and everybody else that name it the name of Christ. Even it was after David. David said, for indeed, O Lord, he said, do I hope thou wilt hear, O Lord my God. Then he said, for I said, hear me, God, lest otherwise they're going to rejoice over me. When my foot slip, they magnify themselves against me. What do they say when they see you fall? When they see you going down? They're going to say, uh-huh. I thought 
thought he was saved. I thought she was saved. I thought she was filled with the Holy Ghost and that with the mighty burning fire. I thought she was running on and see what the end gonna be. Somebody better say amen. You got to learn and to know your enemies will magnify themselves against you once you fall down. But get back up again. That's what you do. You get back up and you fight and you fight and you fight. But listen at this. When David said, look, Lord, when my foot slipping, they magnify themselves against me. I am ready to stop. Talk about to halt. He said, and my sorrow is continuously before me. Watch how you be in sorrow all the time. Over some situation, oh God, I'm getting ready to say something now. Over some situation that you may not be in. God give you peace. God give you joy. He give you a satisfaction down on the inside of your soul. Can you say amen? amen. You will feel that, you know what, I'm doing the right thing. I'm doing the right thing. I'm, I can feel it in my spirit. Or you can say, I feel it in my shanana. Somebody better say amen. amen. God is more powerful than anything. Amen. He knows that we are fallible. He knows that we are humanistic. He knows that sometimes it is hard for us to make it. But I guarantee you if you keep on magnifying God above your situation, you're going to be able to walk that straight and narrow way. Can somebody say amen? Oh, the devil going to get tired of playing with you because you are Always magnify God in your situation. Come on, give the Lord a hand, praise. Come on, give God some praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Give God some praise. God is good, amen, and his mercy and do it forever. So then, and David said that, he said, Lord, you got to hear me, get, get me out of this mess. Get me out of this mess, because they're going to rejoice over me. They're going to magnify themselves above me. They're going to say, you know what, I thought it wasn't nothing to her, another to him, nothing to them anyway. Somebody better say amen. He's waiting on you to fall. He's waiting on you to make a mistake. He's waiting on you to lash out at the God that you serve. Somebody better say amen. But one thing you can tell is tell them, say, you know what? You know, please, you know what? I'm asking God to be patient with me because he ain't through with me yet. He said, but when I do get ready, when I do get my feet on solid ground, somebody better say amen. I'm going to be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth his fruits in his season. Somebody better say amen. I'm going to stand on that solid rock. That solid rock is Jesus. Can you say amen? Glory to God. God is going to get you there. And you, you keep reaching up to him. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. My God. We need to learn how to magnify the Lord. Go with me to Ezekiel. Oh, Psalm 69 and 30. Did I get that? Go with me to Psalm 69 and 30. Did I say that? Read that one? No, this is a good one here. Psalm 69 and 30. I got it marked here. Hallelujah. God is good, people. All the time, God is good. If you got it, Psalm 69 and 30, everybody, let's read in concert. If you don't have it, say, wait a few minutes, Pastor. Amen. I love this. The Word of God is so phenomenal. It's just a powerful, powerful tool that we can stand on. Amen? Amen. 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 Y'all got it? Amen. Read. I will praise the name of God with the song. Uh-huh. will magnify him with thanksgiving. This is what we got to do. We got to magnify the Lord. I will praise the name of God with a song. We did that earlier. When you praise God, when you honor God, he sit there on his throne and he listened to your praise and your worship. 
when it's sincere, he'll come down and meet us just where we are. Amen? Amen. Amen. God's the Bible said, the Lord inhabit the praises of his people. If we can learn how to praise the Lord and get on one accord, we are ushering in the presence of God in this place. Can you say amen? And when the presence of God comes in, he comes to heal. He comes to save. He comes to deliver. He comes to set us free. Somebody better say amen. There is power in magnifying God in every situation of our life. You may be depressed, magnify him. You may be going through something, magnify him. You may be down, magnify him. You may feel like you all alone, magnify him. You Exalt his name, and I guarantee you he will come with divine intervention to move upon your behalf. Can you say amen? Amen. 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 Bless the Lord. Go with me to Ezekiel, Ezekiel 38 and 23. Amen. I tell you, God is good. Oh Lord, this is something that I love right here. 38 and 23. I like this. Let me go up to 22. And I would plead against him with pestilence, with blood, and I would rain upon him, and upon his bands, and upon the many people that are with him, and overflowing rain. And that, that's a message that God gave me, an overflowing rain that God's going to give us to be able to succeed and to do great things for God. A great hailstorm of fire and brimstone. Thus will I magnify myself. He said, now this is, this is preparation here. And sanctify myself. And I will be known in the eyes of many nations that they shall know that I am the Lord. This is God. Somebody better say amen. Somebody better say amen. There is no God but the God of the heaven that created the heavens and the earth. Amen. There is no other God except God, Jehovah. Can you say amen? Amen. amen. So we need to learn how. That's when preparation comes. Come on, somebody. Sometimes we got to get ourselves together and get ourselves ready in order for us to achieve the great things that God has. As for us. Amen? Amen. He ain't going to come when we are side kicking and doing everything. We got to come straight with God. Amen? Amen. Amen. So God, they said, and in the eyes of men and nation, they should know that I am the Lord. You better say so. He is the Lord. And besides him, there is no other. Amen. I want you to go with me now to Acts 10 and 46. I want to read that one. Amen. And then I'm going to read one more scripture. Oh, my God. Let me see. Amen. I got several scriptures here. Amen. Oh, my Lord. Amen. Somebody get that for me. 10, Acts 10 and 46. And somebody get for me Romans 11 and 13. Shall I tell you, you get Acts 10 and 46? Okay, Acts is right after the, go over to John, you'll go right after John, and then you'll hit the book of Acts, Acts right there, I think it's Acts, yeah, Acts 10 and 46, 10 and 46, Shani, read for me, okay, uh -huh. For they heard them speak with tongues Listen. and magnify God. Listen. Then answer, Peter, can Listen. any man forbid water mm. that these should not be baptized, mm -hmm. which have received the Holy Ghost? My as God. Well as we? Yes. Woo, Jesus. People, that is powerful right there. Read that whole chapter. Let you know that when the people heard them speaking with an unknown tongue, this was something they know that it was not taught by man. It was by the unction of the Holy Spirit. 
Amen. And when they heard them, they began to magnify God. Do you know when people look at and see you serving God in the capacity of holiness, in this uh, capacity of sanctification, when you are true to yourself and true to your God, they were magnified. You said, you know what? It's something wrong with her. It's something wrong with him. I know they've been changed. They've been changed. Somebody better say amen. amen. The world is looking for truth. They're looking for a change. They're not looking for you to say that you change. They're looking at the life that you live. Can somebody say amen? amen. they watching us. Every move that we make, everything that we do, amen, they watching us. they looking at us. They seeing who coming to your house, who going out. When you think people are not watching you, they watching you. They watching you. You can't hide from it. They looking at everything that you do. I remember when I was over at a, a particular place and, and I'm coming out and they say, you know what? All that lady do, it said, when I was staying with my girlfriend one time, and they said, and I'm gonna tell you about the other one, the other thing when they say, um, they call us, look at them sanctified girls. They saw us coming out, going to church, saw us coming out, long dresses on, praising God, giving hallelujah, giving God praise. Oh, y'all be blessed. Our language change. Our lifestyle change. Somebody better say amen. amen. When you change and they see the change has been manifested in your life, then they say, hmm. Something must be to that. I would like to find out more about that that they talking about, the God that they serve. Somebody better say amen. amen. My sister, she teach, she teaches in um, the uh, county of uh, Marengo, and her students is like 11 and 12th grade, 12th graders. And what happened was some of them, even when they had a problem, Call her up on the phone, was telling her, can you please pray for me? Can you pray for me, Miss Brenda? Can you pray for me? Because they saw something in her life. They saw something in her. They didn't see her cursing somebody out and telling this and telling lies and doing different things like that. They saw a difference in her life. And when they saw that, they would call her up on the phone and say, can you please pray for me? I'm going through something right now. And that's what she does. She said, you know 